Hello all, welcome to another session on Java programming. In this session, we'll be taking a look at a few exercises on jagged arrays. We've already seen what is a jagged array. We know how to declare a jagged array. If you're not clear about the concept on jagged arrays, please refer to my previous lecture video on jagged arrays. So this uh, session will be focusing on just carrying out a few simple exercises on jagged arrays. So this uh, exercise, the very first exercise we are going to take up is be on how to create a jagged array by getting the input from the user. So on creating a jagged array by getting input from the so when I say input, here yeah, the user will be telling us how many number of rows in each in a jagged array. And you will also enter the size for each row. And using that input, we'll be creating the jagged array. And then we'll ask the user to enter the elements for and we'll also print the elements back to the user using an enhanced for loop. So this is the exercise. Let's start. Um, first, we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows for the array. So we'll have a sysout statement here. We'll ask the user to enter the number of rows. So we'll say enter the number of uh, the array. Uh, we'll have our uh, scanner object. So we'll call this variable num rows equal to put dot next in. So we have written the number of rows here. Next, we have received the number of rows from the user. Now let us declare the jagged array. So we'll call this array to be A and then equal to new int some rows we know that is uh, the user enters the number of rows now what is the next step here to get the size for each row and and create this array so let's uh, run a for loop for int i is equal to zero for number of rows i less than num rows i plus plus for each row what we'll do is we'll ask the user to enter the size out enter the is for the row and uh, we have to get the input so we'll say we'll have this variable int uh, int uh, row length for number of elements equal to zero and uh, we'll use this row length so we're entering the row length here that is input dot next int so the user enters the length of each row and using that we can declare so it's a of i so if it's a first row it will be zero so a of i will be a of zero is equal to new int of and then we'll put the row length so here in the jagged array for each row we are declaring that a specific array so you're going to have a of zero is equal to the length specified for that row like why say of one is equal to the length specified for the row why is it we are doing this because each row will have its own size now the array declaration is done next what we'll do is we'll ask the user to enter the elements for the array enter the elements for the jagged array and uh, we have to run a for loop to get the input for int i is equal to zero i less than so now the number of rows in the jagged array can be retrieved as a dot length that denotes the number of rows i plus plus and uh, for the size of each row so int j is equal to zero j less than uh, a of i dot length a of i dot length so this is for the size of each row j plus plus and obvious that you are going to get the input a of i j is equal to input dot next int. So what is that we are doing here? For the number of rows and for the length of each row, we are getting the elements. Next, what we'll do is we'll use an enhanced for loop to print the data back to the user, to print the data back to the user. So for this, we'll use an enhanced for loop in Java. So it's for 
so what is that we are dealing with we are dealing with a multi dimensional array so for each uh, single dimensional array that we will be retrieving from our multi dimensional array say for each single dimensional array from a what we will do is we will print every element in the single dimensional array for int uh, say m from k what we will do we will print sys out m so while you are reading a multi dimensional array using an enhanced for loop you will be reading every row first so every row is an array in itself so we are declaring this as an array from this array k we are reading every integer element and then we are printing that out if you want to print this out as an matrix itself uh, what you can do is we can give system dot out dot print here and after each row we can go with a new line so what is that we have done in this exercise we have asked the user to enter the number of rows we declare the jagged array and then for each row we got the size from the user creating the jagged array and we also ask the user to enter the number of elements based on the row size we will be getting the number of elements we will be entering it and finally we are printing the data entered into the array back to the user in the form of a so now let's check whether this code works let me run this control s and control f11 So we'll have uh, three rows in our jagged array. The first row will have a size of three, and the second row will have a size of two. Third row will have a size of one. Now, for the first row, I'll enter all the elements to be one. So one, one, and one. Second row, I'll enter the elements to be twos. So we have two elements in the second row, it's twos. The third uh, row will have only one element, that will be one, three. So now you can see. We have uh, received the elements in the jagged array, and this is the first row, and this is the second row, and this is the third row. So here we have created this jagged array by getting the specifications from the user: how many rows you want, what's the size of each row, and we have created this uh, jagged array. And we were also able to print the jagged array back using this enhanced for loop. This is the exercise, and I hope you all have understood how to create a jagged array and receive input for it. So what we are going to do in exercise two is. We are going to sort each row of the jagged array in the ascending order. So, what we'll do here is uh, we'll sort each row of the jagged array in the ascending order. And after sorting, what we'll do is we will uh, print the maximum and minimum number in each row. So, printing maximum and minimum number will going to be very easy because when we sort that in the ascending order the minimum number will be in index 0 and the maximum number in, will be in the last index so we'll perform this so what we have done already we have created the jagged array declared it and uh, we are getting the size for each row we are creating this array and we are reading the input for the array here and uh, finally we are reading in each row so after reading in each row from the jagged array i want to sort it for this i'm going to use the inbuilt method of the arrays class that is the sort method and this method uh, takes in an integer array as input so what is the row we are reading in that will be mapped to k so we are reading in every row from the jagged array and mapping it to this single dimensional array by name k we are sorting it in the ascending order by calling the inbuilt method sort method of the arrays class so we have sorted the row in the ascending order what next we have to do we need to print the maximum and minimum number from each row. So here, after sorting, we are printing the sorted array, and uh, we'll go to a new line, and then we'll print the minimum number. The minimum uh, number in the row is so it'll be the first element in the array, right? So it's k of zero, and then the maximum number will be at the end. So we'll print the maximum number in the OS what will be the maximum number that will be the last element how will you find the last element is nothing but length of the array minus one so that will be the maximum number because we have sorted the array obviously minimum will be in the first index and maximum will be in the last index so let's uh, run this let's check whether we are receiving the output 
So control F and control F11. So let's uh, take a look at the output now. So enter the number of rows for the array. Here we are going to enter three rows and uh, size for the first row is three elements, second row is two elements and the final row is one element. Now we have to enter the elements in each row. So first row we will enter the elements as three, two, one. So it's not sorted, it's in the descending order actually. We have to sort it in the ascending order. For the second row we will enter the elements as two and one and the last row is just one element so three. Now let's check the output. So here first row we entered 3 to 1 it is sorted in the ascending order as 1 to 3 minimum number is 1 and maximum number is 3 second row we entered the input as 2 1 it is sorted as 1 2 minimum number is 1 and maximum is 2 whereas third row we have just one element so minimum and maximum is 3 so we have finally achieved our output on uh, sorting the rows of a jack array in the ascending order and printing the minimum and maximum value like this, you can carry out uh, any number of exercises on jagged arrays. I hope you all have understood the concept behind jagged arrays, and I also hope that this exercise uh, was useful to you. Thank you.